Okay, like what we mentioned, equal sets are when they have exactly the same members or exactly the same elements. Okay, can you recall what is this thing called? Universal set. Universal set, what did I tell you? What's the meaning of universal set? It's the biggest one, alright? It's the mother of every set. Okay, that's the biggest one, alright? So, in this question, the universal set is an integer. And the integer has must satisfy this inequality. It's a whole number, huh? it's an integer. So, can you tell me what are the members inside? Do we include zero? No, why not? The arrow don't have the equal sign. Okay, so if I were to write, okay, can, because this one is not asked to list out, it's just my own working. So I can do this. One, two, dot, 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 only three dots, all the way to 10. Huh? 10 or 9? 10, huh? 10 has equal sign. Huh? I purposely put like that one. Huh? Okay, so this means huh, whatever that you write subsequently or huh, can only comprise of number 1, 2, all the way to 10. It cannot have any other number. Because the universal set is the biggest set already. Okay? Okay. How do I make use of this? Let's take a look. I have two examples over here. Set A. How many elements are there? 3. 1, 3, and 9, right? Okay. Think a bit. What are the devices of 18? 1, 3, 6, 2, 9, wow, why so all a random one? Okay, let's write everything out. We should start with 1. After that, 2. After that, 3. After that, 6. Oh, got 4, man? Do I have 4, huh? Oh, okay, after that, 6. What else? 9. After that, 18. Okay, if you tell me 18, I'm sorry you are wrong. Why? Yes, it doesn't fit the universal set. Already in the universal set, the bigger set, say only up to 10. So can I include 18 in my set B? Cannot. Now I want you to do a comparison. Are A and B equal? So can I write A equal B? So, if I want a mathematical notation to represent the relationship between A and B, what should I do? Uh, A not equal to B. Very good. This is the easiest one. But, what do you notice about A and B? Ah, Nosham already see already. Ah. Nosham say A is a subset of B. Why did Nosham say that? What do you notice about the elements in A? All the three elements are all inside B. But the number of elements in A must be less than B. Am I right? Ah, this is what we call a proper subset. I'm going to write it down. Huh? Okay. When we say proper subset, it means that all the elements in A are found in B. But the numbers of elements in A must be less than the number of elements in B. This is what we call a proper subset. Okay. So universal set, as you all know, is the bigger set. Or inverted tree. Okay, number three. But what is empty set? Make a guess. There is nothing inside. Okay, this is something I want to tell you. When there's nothing inside, can I write zero? Yes, zero means zero is inside the set. So I'm going to show you the difference now. Huh? Look at my set G. Is there anything inside? When I write a curly bracket with nothing inside, this is known as a empty set. Nothing inside. Okay? Another way of writing empty set, another way, huh?
These two has the same meaning, empty set. However, if I write the curly bracket with a zero inside, what is the meaning? Ah, zero is an element. Okay, ah, so the thing to take note is empty set, there are two ways of denoting. If you ask me personally, I do not prefer the second one. I prefer the first one. Just draw the curly bracket. Ah, don't write anything inside. Because the second one, sometimes you get yourself confused. But you never know during exam which one they will give you. So I still need to teach both. Okay?